Hey, fit friends. Happy Fitness Friday, Fit Friday. Um, I hope you guys are having a great morning. Hey, let me know. Comment below. What are you doing today to get your body moving? Get that blood pumping. Feel that energy in your body so you can have lots of, you know, focus and clarity and energy today. Hey, my name is Mary. I'm a health and fitness coach. I've been coaching for about two and a half years now, and myself, my team, we've helped several people lose over a thousand pounds. Go team! Go challengers! You guys are all rocking it. So today, um, I plugged into a functional strength training program. Tomorrow, I'm doing another long run for the training for the Boston Marathon. So for me, it's an extremely important to have a strong core. Why? Because if you have a strong core, it helps to prevent injuries. And I would be devastated if I got an injury at the last few weeks, days, whatever, before I had to run the Boston Marathon. It's been a long journey and I want to be um, extremely healthy before I run. So today I'm going to show you two moves that um, I do every single week to help, you know, to help strengthen my core, okay? So I have a 25, 25 pound weight. You wanna grab something that that's heavy for you, all right? Don't wimp out on me, you can do it. I know you can. <laughs> grab a heavy weight, okay guys? And then, it's gonna be sitting here on the ground. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. It's kind of hard in this little bit of space that I got going on. But you're gonna be doing you're gonna so you're gonna be doing deadlifts, single leg deadlifts with um, a squat and then a single leg lift. All right. So you're gonna be standing on your left foot. Your right hand is gonna be picking up the weight. All right. So the weight is gonna be placed on the ground. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat back. Now look at look at my butt. It's going back, right? So you're gonna pick up the weight and lift up. And then you're going to place it back on the ground and then you're gonna switch arms, all right? Still on the left leg, you're not switching the legs. So left arm, left leg, pick it up. So again, you're really squatting back like you're sitting down in a chair and you're gonna switch arms. Now you're gonna do three sets. So three with the right hand, three with the left hand. And then you're gonna switch legs, all right? I'm not gonna show you that right now, just for the sake of time. I'm sure you guys don't wanna be sitting here watching me. But, um, so now the single leg um, deadlift. So again, same leg. Roll this up a little bit. So same leg, again, you're gonna pick it up with your right hand. And then you're just gonna lean over. Whoops, lost my balance. So lean over, this leg's gonna remain flat. Or straight, sorry. And then lift it up. And then again, you're gonna switch hands. Three times. Two. You really want to focus on keeping your hips square to the ground. Last one. All right. So that that strengthens your core. All right. You're gonna feel it in your glutes, your hamstrings, and your abs. All right. For my bonus move, this move helps to, um, you're working on your, your back, again, your core, your glutes, and it helps to um, boost up your heart rate, all right? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna do three sets of 30 seconds, but I'm just gonna show you real quick. If you have a um, kettlebell, that's the best, but I don't have any kettlebell, so you always can modify, guys. Just modify, <laughs> no matter what. 
So you're gonna grab it and you're gonna get into like a sumo position. And then you're gonna thrust your hips so that basically gravity is pulling your hip thrust is pushing your arms into the air, right? And you want the weight to fall or the kettlebell fall right in the middle of your legs. So you can do that for 30 seconds, three times. All right, guys, comment below and let me know what you're doing today to get your body moving, boost your energy, boost your mood. It's gonna be a great day. All right, take care, guys. Peace out, bye.